Good day again and welcome to Flipping Economics. Lastly, we're going to look at the third way in order to calculate GDP. And this is by means of nominal and real GDP. Now, GDP can be expressed in nominal terms or real terms. Nominal is now. That means now. So you need to take the prices of the now year, let's say 2019, times the quantity of 2019. Where real GDP makes use of a base year. Right. Currently in South Africa, we use 2010 as a base year. So we exclude inflation. Where with nominal GDP, you include inflation. Right. So let's start reading the question. By making use of the table, calculate real economic growth for 2018. Use 2010 as a base year. So what you do is you first take your current year, 2018. And then you use 2010 as a base year. So we start with the four products. We have clothes, food, furniture, and petrol. So we take the prices of the base year. Right? Because we use real GDP. So the prices of the base year, because we said 2010 is a base year. So for clothes, it's 1,250. For food furniture and petrol 9100 and we multiply it by the current quantity of the particular year 588 987 284 394 and we multiply in if we multiply in, we get the different answer. We get 735,000. For food, we have 1.1 million. For furniture, we have 242,000. And for petrol, we have over 3 million. And what you do then is you add everything up and you get 5,707,570. So you do this for 2018. Now, since you need to establish if the economy has grown or not, you have to use the previous year as well because you need to compare it with something. So it's 2018. Now you do the exactly the same thing for 2017. You take the base year of the prices, it is the prices of 2010 times the quantity, but now for 2017, exactly the same. When you finish doing this, we need to establish the growth rate, right? So we say, we take the GDP of the year 2018 minus the GDP of the year, sorry, GDP for the year 2017 divided by the GDP of 2017 times 100. This is the growth rate. So your new year is 5707570 minus your previous year, 5,231,400 divided by your previous year which is 2017 five two three one four hundred and you multiply that with a hundred and you get a growth rate of nine point one percent in the next video we're going to look at the lorenz curve and the guinea coefficient